Hello everyone, hope you are learning well. So in this video, we'll discuss the second problem of lead code weekly contest 358. Our medium level problem, um, based on implementation, uh, no fancy logic involved, but yeah, uh, we can see the accuracy is low. Um, we'll see why, we'll see why. Maybe because of overflow and all. So yeah, the problem name is double a number represented as a linked list, okay? So you are given the head of a non-empty linked list representing a non-negative integer without leading zeros okay these constraints right without leading zeros and all this make the problem easy right return the head of the link list after doubling it what do i mean by this so just see 189 is a number 189 is a number you have to multiply it by 2 you get 378 so return 378 right again in the form of linked list that's what we need to do again you have 999 sorry if you multiply it by two, what do you get? You get 1998. So initially you had three nodes. Now you will return a list having four nodes like this, right? This is what we need to do. Now the number of nodes in the list um, is in this range. That means you can have 10 to the power four nodes. And obviously each value is nine because uh, the since this is decimal, right? So each digit can be from zero to nine. So that's why it's uh, this is the higher bound, right? The input is generated such that the list represents a number that does not have any leading zero except the number zero itself, right? So just see here, whenever you are doing uh, some operations like addition, multiplication, what we do? Suppose there is number 123, I multiply it by two. So what do I do? The first digit that I choose is the least significant bit, all right? I do two, three is a six. Then the next bit after that digit, sorry, it's four and then this. So what I mean to say, I start doing the operation from this position, right? This is 189. So first I'll choose nine, then I'll choose eight and so on, right? But again, since this is a linked list with single pointer, not a doubly linked list, so it's not possible to move backwards, right? So what we will do, we'll reverse the list, right? We'll reverse the list to make the uh, problem easy. So if I have 189, I'll make it 981. Okay, now the list is like this. All right, the list is like this. Now keep on multiplying and doing, uh, keep on doing elementary mathematics. So what I'll do, nine to the 18, right? So whatever is your sum, right? Basic mathematics, suppose my sum is S, okay? Whatever is my sum and whatever is my carry, we add both of them, right? Now, if I have to check that what's the digit that I'm putting here. So that is basically whatever is the total sum mod 10, right? Mod 10, like for example, uh, 12 and 19 okay let's take 18 to make things simple suppose you add 2 and 8 what do you get the sum is 10 now what do you put here you put this mod 10 and what's the carry that is whatever was your sum sorry divided by 10 so that one goes here so that's what we are doing whatever is the sum okay why i've taken a carry because just see carry of one is coming here right i'm just showing you the example of sum okay so whatever is the sum here, mod 10 will be kept here and divided by 10 will go to the next position in the form of carry. That's what we'll do. So reverse the list, do this operation. Maybe you will have to add an extra node because just see this case, you have 999. When you multiply, you get four nodes. So whatever you get, your answer is like this 8991. Now just reverse it, you get 1998 and just return that list, right? Let me show you the implementation because uh, uh, no no extra logic is involved, right? So I have written a function reverse list. You pass the head of the list and you get the new head of the list, right? In the reversed manner. This is the function, right? I hope everyone is comfortable with how to reverse a list. This is the small code of how to reverse a list, right? You take a previous pointer, you take a, a current pointer and basically it's like this, right? This is the list. I'll, I'll just give you a very brief overview, right? So this is like this, right? This is a previous pointer. And this is the current node right so what i do okay what i do i keep a pointer here right i keep a pointer here because if i change this pointer this node will be gone i will not have any reference so the first thing that i do is temp is equals to current dot next so this guy becomes temp that okay this is the list that you need to process right now is this next will point to previous just see current dot next will point to previous right now this becomes the new previous right and current is equals to temp current is equals to temp right this is your list this is current this is temp 
I want to change its pointer. So current dot next equals to previous. Now this becomes the new previous. This becomes the new current. That is how you reverse a linked list, right? I have told you very briefly how to reverse it, right? So this is how you reverse the linked list. Now once you have reversed the linked list, double the list. This is another function which basically calculates the value, right? So this is the head that I have and this is the previous. Now why I have taken previous? that will be shown right maybe most of the folks are failing here right so initially carry is equals to zero and also sum doesn't have any value so keep on iterating till you do not reach a null node right so what's the sum sum is equals to whatever carry you have brought forward plus the current nodes value into two right how do you multiply 123 into two so let's take it eight okay so three eight to the 16 six and then one is the carry not two to the four again you do so this is what we are doing and plus one so this is the new sum, right? Like here, the new sum is three. Okay. Carry is equals to sum divided by 10. So three divided by 10 will be zero. That means now there will be no carry. And what's the value that I have to put at the current node? It's sum equals to sum mod 10, right? The exact logic that I told you, right? Now update the value of the current node. Temp dot val equals to sum. Previous is equals to temp and temp is equals to next. So if this is the list that I have, the reverse list, okay? And this is the... Uh, you know a node where i'm doing the operation so once i have done the operation this temp will move here but i also keep a reference of previous pointer that is just one step behind temp why i'm doing it because suppose you want to add an extra node so you this loop ends when all the nodes are consumed then temp become, becomes null right but you have to add an extra node right if carry is greater than zero what do you do so you need a reference of this last node right reference of the last node because if you have moved to null how do you add that extra node at the end of the list you will not be able to do it right so that's why previous dot next equals to new list node carry whatever is the value left right and then return the head simple okay so that's the edge case here you need to take care of a previous node as well because otherwise after the end of the loop you are standing at null okay because temp is not equals to null okay now again again reverse the linked list okay because now you have the answer right again reverse it and just return it just return the head pointer right so reverse list head basically this function returns you the head of the new list right reverse list so that directly return it and yes we are done right so this is more of an implementation based problem and yes whenever you see this type of problem just see for the edge cases that okay uh, what happens if i have to add, in, add an extra node will i be able to do it without taking this extra pointer no no right that's the main trick you have to um, you know work out with here right so yeah that's it for this solution i hope you learned something new from this video uh, do support it by giving up thumbs up do subscribe to the channel as well mention that mention any any queries you have in the comment section and i'll try to you know re resolve each one of them thank you take care bye bye